Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Honor 6 Plus smartphone. This is a mid-tier smartphone coming in at under £300 in the UK for an unlocked SIM-free version, so you're not tied to any contract. In this video, I'm going to unbox it, run through the specifications and give you my first impressions. So let's take a look inside the box first of all. Nicely presented in this bright cyan-coloured box. Here we've got the smartphone itself. Now, just to give you a few of the specifications, I'm gonna pop this to one side though and have a look at this in more detail later on. This has got a 5.5 inch screen running at 1920 by 1080 resolution, so full HD screen, that's 401 PPI. Inside, we've got a quad-core 1.8 gigahertz Cortex A15 processor and also a quad-core 1.3 gigahertz Cortex A7 processor. This comes with 16 gigabytes of storage three gigabytes of ram but it also supports micro sd cards up to 128 gigabytes so as i say we're going to have a close look at the actual smartphone in a short while let's dig down further into the packaging so we've got a little box of goodies here and inside this first box we have got a euro charger now if you buy this in the uk you should actually get it with the uk charger this is a review bot model so Thus, I've got a Euro charger, and then we've got USB to micro USB cable. And then further down inside the box, there we go. This one should contain a SIM removal tool. And then we've also got some paperwork inside as well. Nice to see, actually very impressed, that as well as the paperwork, we have got a rear protector and also a front protector. So that's gonna keep this sort of scratch free and, and nice and sort of mint condition. And we've also got a printed quick start guide, which is gonna tell us how to get into the actual uh, sort of SIM trays and get everything up and running. So now let's have a look at the smartphone itself. Now this is a dual SIM smartphone. So on the side here, if I show you this first, we've got one tray which accepts two SIM cards. And we've also got, uh, that's by the way, these are micro SIMs. And then we've also got another tray which accepts the micro SD card. We've got the main power on off button, volume rocker. Really nice design to this as well. I like the framing on the side of this. And then round across the top here, we have got a IR blaster. We also got a three and a half millimeter audio jack. On this side, completely clean. And then across the bottom edge, we've got the pinhole microphone there and also the micro USB charging socket. Worth also noting there is a secondary microphone across the top there as well. Now round on the back, very, very nice design. This has still got a sticker on it. Let me see if I can remove this sticker. Oh, I'll leave the sticker on for now, but it's got a sticker on the back. This actually just shows you just here the configuration of the slots on the side. So two micro SIMs in that top slot and then, uh, oh sorry, one of them's micro SIM and then micro SD, and then the other SIM card trays there. So I got that wrong. A SIM card goes into each of these, and this top one actually shares uh, the micro SD card as well. Now also on the back, we have got a really cool camera, eight megapixel camera. This uh, is, captures 1080p video, 30 frames per second. We've also got a primary camera on the front, which is also eight megapixels. Very, very cool indeed. Now I'm gonna just go around to the back again, because you can see on the back here that this has actually got dual cameras, very good autofocus, and also dual LED flash. Very, very cool indeed. In fact, I've been so, so impressed with the camera on this. The actual uh, controls that you get while taking photos are really impressive. You can do some very good depth of field photography with this, with a very shallow depth of field. In fact, I can show you one of the photos that I took on this earlier. Let me just uh, unlock the mobile phone. I called it a mobile phone. Let me unlock the smartphone for you. So you can see here, very nice user interface. This is called the Emotion UI. This is version three no sort of full app tray, so you can't sort of dive in and see all of the apps that are installed. Everything resides on your main screen. So we've got all of our apps here, some of which I've downloaded and installed because I've been testing the smartphone. And then we've got folders, of course, supported. So for example, there we've got a Google folder with our Google apps in, swipe across. We've got some more organizational folders 
and everything just gets installed onto these screens. So no app tray at all. We've still got notifications that we can pull down. We've still got on-screen uh, buttons here or icons here for going back, multitasking, home screen, etc. And I wanted to actually show you one of the photos I took, which actually really does give you a good uh, idea of the actual quality. Let me just go back. And it was this one here, I think. Look at this. This is very, very impressive. Probably you won't be able to see it so clear in the video, but this is all in focus. And then I switched to manual settings and controlled the aperture. And this has got, I think it's an F2.0 aperture on here. And all of this area out here is out of focus and just my little Shih Tzu Milo is in focus and it creates this really wonderful effect and very, very high quality photos. In fact, let me just um, zoom in a little bit so you can see the detail. The detail it captures is very, very good indeed. I've been so, so impressed with the camera performance on the Honor 6 Plus so far. With regards to using the applications, well, so far I've been using it mainly for social networking and email. The likes of Instagram, very, very good indeed. Been very impressed with the performance of the smartphone overall. And as I say, that camera is very good as well. Transitioning between screens, we've got this nice sort of fading sort of uh, transition when we go from home screen to home screen. And the overall performance is very, very good indeed. And that's thanks to that sort of quad core, uh, well, actually octa core, but in two quad core configuration CPUs. Nice amount of RAM on this as well, three gigabytes, which helps everything to move along at a nice speed, coming in at this fantastic price point. The actual hardware itself and the screen quality, well, the screen offers up good viewing angles. And as I say, it's full HD, goes up nice and bright as well. Uh, the actual feel of the smartphone in the hand, well, it's a large screen, 5.5 inches, but it feels really, really nice. And we've got nice sort of thin bezels down the side, still quite large top and bottom, but it feels very comfortable to hold. Very well made, nice build quality, and just a beautiful, beautiful smartphone. Good speaker quality as well for when you're watching back multimedia, the likes of YouTube videos, and it just all works absolutely fine. Now I said this is a mid-tier phone. Well really, it's almost at flagship status. You know, it is a very high specification for the money. So I'd say it is mid-tier price, but certainly a very high tier when it comes to how it feels in the hand and the overall quality. This is the Honor 6 Plus. If you're looking for a really high-end smartphone with some great features, but without spending the money, this is well worth checking out. So thanks very much for watching. Please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.